Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can find out the ABAP version that is used within your SAP system. And based on this ABAP version, your whole ABAP programs are running. So basically, um, there are three uh, possibilities or options how you can find the ABAP version in your SAP system, directing always to the same result. Before showing you this, why it's important to find out the ABAP version and to check it out. Because basically, if we open up, for example, the ABAP documentation, so with the transaction code ABAP Doku, then here under ABAP release news, you can see that based on different releases of your ABAP version, there um, you have more options to use or less options to use. And it is important that if you would like, for example, to migrate some ABAP programs, that you should check if your statements and if your whole ABAP program is executable also in the target system. So therefore it's really important to check it. I've made a couple of videos explaining you some modern concepts of ABAP and these modern statements just work if you have um, the, the lowest prerequisites. So the, um, yeah, the prerequisite of the ABAP release. So therefore check it, it's very important. So here right now the newest ABAP release is 7.5. Eight also available in the ABA platform 2023. So therefore, um, this is the newest ABA release. So here basically, um, I would like now to show you the three possibilities. And I think one of the easiest is directly within the SAP GUI um, under the uh, menu function system. Then you can click to status. And then after here, you can see a lot of really useful um, information about your system. But what we like to dive deeper is under SAP system data, product version, you click on the buttons details. And here you can see the installed software component, SAP underscore basis. And here basically um, you can see what kind of basis component is being used in your SAP system and the ABAP release. So the ABAP kernel and the version also relies on the SAP basis version. And therefore here we can see that in within this system, I'm using ABAP release 7.56 with the um, yeah, with no support package level. So here with this component SAP underscore basis, you find out which ABAP version you are currently using. So this is one of the easiest one that you can use. Another option is to go into the transaction SPAM, spam. After executing this transaction, this is fine. Here you have the button package level, display package level. And if you click on this, then here this pop-up will open up once again, where you can find out the ABAP version um, based on the SAP component, SAP underscore basis. And the third option is basically directly via a custom program. So therefore, uh, I would like to open up the um, ABAP editor, the transaction SE38. And within here, for example, ABAP uh, version. So I would like to create this custom program. Um, uh, um, yeah, display ABAP version, for example, make it executable, then save it as a local object. This is perfectly fine. And then what you can do is, so for example, I would like to print it out. So ABAP version, and then I can, for example, use the um, system variable and it's SY minus SAP. RL for release. So, and then this is fine. 
and yeah basically that's all shift f1 control f2 control f3 to pretty printer to um yeah to syntax check and to activate it and then if we execute it then here we can also see the upper version and here it's the um, valuable the information 7 156 or so 7.56 is the current ABAP version where you can also find it out directly via a custom program. So yeah, these are three possibilities always um, directing to the same output. And yeah, if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.